Hey there, my name is Adiola and I'm an engineer on the Batch Changes team. I want to do a walkthrough with a quick example of how you can run Batch Changes server side to make small and large code changes across multiple repositories and multiple code hosts. The possibilities are endless, but today we'll use this regex search query to look for all repositories with an ESLint configuration in the root. We're currently on step two, but up to this point, all we've done is named our batch change in the previous configuration screen. Taking another look at our batch spec, we'll notice it's broken into three parts. We have our search query to find the code we need to change, our definition of how to change the code that we find, and in the last part, we have the change to template, which defines what the change set we create should look like. So what we see happening here in our first step is we'll print a YAML object with information about which package manager is used. We'll then use that information to determine how we will run ESLint fix across our matching repositories. This is what we'll do if we find yarn, and this is the step that we'll do if we find NPM. Now I wanna bring attention to our executions options over here. I'm gonna go ahead and select run without cache so we aren't using any cache results if any exist. We can now preview our workspaces. The repos we see here are the repos that matched our search query and where our changes will be made. If we make any changes to our spec file after this point, the workspaces may change, so we'd have to run another preview. In this case, we're good, so let's move on to executing our spec. We're probably gonna get a pretty fast result here, but while we wait for execution, we can take a look and see what's happening in our logs. Our variables are being set and everything looks as expected. Okay, our execution looks complete and we can see that we have some divs in our workspaces. This looks great, but I wanna see a full preview of our pending change sets. Here we see our pending change sets, they're currently unpublished, but we can go ahead and change that now. By selecting all our change sets and deciding how we would like them to be published to our code host, we can get that action started. Publication states are recalculated and we'll go ahead and apply those. And now we'll see some changes in our status. Processing. We'll wait for our change sets to finish. Okay, so now we have a status of open for both of our change sets. This indicates we now have some pull requests to go ahead and merge. I hope this was helpful. Bye.